What's up guys, it's your boy Turnbuster65, back up in this, and today we are back on to the Dreams game known as Lock. Last episode, we took a gander to this household. We discovered this bird, this little bird painting. We took a walk inside, we entered the gallery, which was a little too mind trippy for us for now. And we entered the kitchen, which certainly mocked us on reading these different languages and learning about this word steganography Oof! did that first try sound really smart don't i <laughs> Ooh, speaking of smart i was smart enough to interpret this freaking room over here oh oh shoot this got this little up thing it reminds me of when I took an art class over here, and learning all about how light affects the way you look at colors over here in a certain art that revolves around light, more so than LED. As if you take this opening over here, and depending on how you open it, you can view the sky differently. You can see the sky in different colors and then using the lights inside of you. It's really interesting. There's this, this artist over here that bought out a volcano took the inside of it over here basically had it set up like this and the inspiration was behind Mormon not synagogues I don't know but the equivalent of Mormon churches is the inspiration behind it but anyway we got that room we got this button over here which is one unlocked and then we this is where we initially came from and then we had this mail going on this is just losing its mind <laughs> But we got a key from the kitchen. Prior to us solving it. That unlocks the nursery. What? It's more of a garden than a nursery. But sure. Unless a plant lived here. A sentient a sentient plant. So velocity. What? How do I do with this? What happens? I go full velocity. Okay. So nothing. It's just just poured out water. That's it. What's this note? Introduction. Steganography is the technique of hiding secret data within an ordinary non-secret file or message. The word steganography comes from the Greek steganographia, which combines the words steganos, meaning covered or concealed, and graphia meaning writing. Interesting. Oh, is this? This is from the book. Standard numerical substitution. The most basic of encoding systems, numerical substitution simply replaces the letters for A to Z with corresponding numbers of 0 to 25. Okay. With A being 0 and Z being 25. Pretty simple enough. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming that I'm supposed to have the right amount of light and brightness for this. Which makes sense. Whoa. Hold on. Okay. So seeds. What about seeds? Okay, so I got plant, music, water drops. That symbol, which so the plan I gotta figure out, yeah, I gotta figure out something for the plan. I gotta figure out something for the music, and there's four water drops in that. So this seeds are telling me the code. I think. I think that's what that tells me. I get ten, which is linked to. Okay, oh my goodness, all oh, this freaking... What's this, this? Oh, wait a second. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty, twenty-five. So this goes up by five. Interesting. This is... Negative four. Negative eight. I think I see. Okay. 
up. Okay, this is going to be pretty interesting. So that goes up by negative 11. So I think I gotta find a perfect... I think I gotta find a perfect setting. I think I gotta make these all positive numbers. Cause that's still negative. This is 23, this is 6, so 7. So I gotta make it all positive. Okay, so... I think this said 4 water though, right? Yeah, music, flower... Sun. I'm gonna go with three sun and four water. Yep. Okay. So that's one. That's eleven. That's three. That's fourteen. Yep. And in the order, it goes flower, music, water, sun. That, that's how you grow the flower, right? So I think the flower, because of that, this has to be one. The music, which is 11. So that I've got B. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So okay, I got B, J. B, J. <laughs> Wait, what? It's water, right? Hold on. Yeah, I got 1, 11, 3, 14. So that's... Well, BJ... BJ... BJ D... BJ D K L M. BJ D... BJ D M? That can't be right. BJ D M. Yeah, BJ D M. That's B is one. J no, J is nine. Oh, right, minus one, not plus one. Dear. So yeah, because J is the tenth letter, so that'll be nine. K is the eleventh letter. So okay, B L. That makes sense. Not to be confused with B B L. So B L. So B L D. B L D N B L D N still doesn't make sense. Yeah, B is one, L is eleven. Oh no, B L O D. Bold, 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 bold. That's it. That's bold. Me being bold, being just being trying to do all that without looking at that, because I can't count and do numbers in my head. There we go. Look at that. No hit required, baby. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Is it your first time interfacing with lock systems? Don't forget, persistence and focus are the key to success. Keep it up, and your prefers top quality results. Communications override. Detect. I'm getting pushback, and I can't maintain the connection. If you can hear me, please keep going. Whatever it is you're doing. Data breach detected. Data breach secured. Oh, wow. That's... Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm just gonna keep solving puzzles. That sounds fine. I think that sounds fine with y'all, right? Right? I think it's on the ground. Okay, that's just nothing, I guess. Oof. Okay, nothing with the plant. Can't see. Ah! Oh, I see a key. Another one of these keys, which means I'm not going to be able to go to the hexagon room next door. Unless I explore and find another key. Possibly. Staying on topic. We're never going to drop it. Plants look at me wrong. Going to give it a drop kick. John Cena FU. Five knuckle shuffle. Name on the mat. One, two, three. Full of a puddle of blood. Alright, let's stop. I'm not a fan of the gallery. I'm not going to lie to you. Because this one is all a matter of perspective. Yep. One, two, three, then four. I get the one. The one is here.
Maybe this has to do with the flags again? Does this have to do with steganography? Me. That lines up with that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. But I see it line up. Maybe an R? I see an R with this purple right here. This first one. It looks like I got X. And then maybe R? Oh, I got four. Whoa, I got four. I see a four there, finally. Okay, so I got four. Where's two, then? Certainly not with that freaking bird. That's all I know. Yeah, it's still not clicking to me. I'm sorry, it's, it's still not clicking. The direction each eye sees reveals a secret in art. The direction each eye sees. Okay, so. Guys, go. Whoa! Whoa, two! Oh, shit. Okay, so the first one is kind of this, right? Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me. The direction each eye sees. So it goes this way. Two! That's two. I never noticed that. Okay. So two. I got two. Hmm. Two? Hmm. I know from this I had four. So two, four. I get it now. Okay. So what? This is that way, so I don't know. Certainly not that. Two, four. This is, this is looking up, so it's gotta be. Two, four, I guess I got something two, four. Something to look forward to? Yeah, I know, bad joke. Uh, frick. Okay, there's nothing there. So I don't see anything here. It says one is looking this way. I don't see anything. So I don't think I do. I see a ball. I see a flower. Look for... Oh! Oh, uh, wait a second. Uh, D E S T G. Oh, God. It's like I, I see it, but I don't see it. Ah, frick. I had something like this. Okay. So, D. Okay, so. Okay, so based on what I know, looking here is four. And that's. This is two. This is two. For two. So it's something something for two. Something something for two. So something... Something destroyed for two? No. Something D-E-S... T... G... Uh, cause I get it. I get it now. D. It took me a second to realize this. I don't see anything. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm supposed to see something there. 
As far away this looks mumbled up, but maybe from a distance that reads something different. Uh, I don't get what I'm supposed to read there though. I don't see a letter there. I don't know. It gives me three hints. And that was all three. That was part of a definition. It's part of a definition. D S D E S Cause I see E. I see S. I see T. I see G. And then I see that, which is maybe in destined. Is that supposed to be destined? That doesn't make sense, though. How is that supposed to be destined? No, no, no. How is that supposed to be destined? I see where the freaking N is. I see the E. How the hell is it supposed to be I? What? D E S T I N E D. How the hell is that supposed to spell destined? That's a G. What? Blank destined for two. So something destined for two. Which I don't know. Something destined for two. I'm gonna go with life. Let me go with life. Let me go for life. Let me go with life. I don't get what. <sighs> oh, I didn't. I meant to hit triangle, not god dang it. So... Okay, so okay, I get the kitchen. The kitchen was mock. The kitchen was mock. Right. The flower room, that was bold. So the gallery got to spell a word. Yeah, blank destined for two. Yeah, blank destined for two. Blank destined for two. Okay, I saw this. I still don't get where the eye comes in from this. I don't. I don't see it. I don't. I know it's gonna be somewhere. Song, song, song destined for two. Love, love. Is it love? Ah, oh, shoot, I should've got love. I actually got close. The frick? It's love. What? A song destined for two. I, it took me a second to realize. I realized this freaking flower spelled song with the X right there, the O, the N, and the G. Song destined for two. Is it not love? What the hell is a song destined for two then? Is it just song? No. The hell is a song destined for two then? And one, two, three, then four. Song destined for two. Song destined for two, unless. Uh, oh, whoa, okay. Song destined for two. <laughs> Song destined for two. Song destined for two. A duet. A duet. A duet. Duet. That's it. That's it. Uh, duet. That's literally what it's called. We have two people on a song. That's, it's a duet. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yep, there we go. All right. Sorry, I was thinking romantically first. Good job. You're Not getting literally. there. As a reminder, you must complete the panel of tests in its entirety to emotional <laughs> emotional trauma and in rare cases, total memory failure. Whoa, what? 
Beat that last part for me one more time, Chief. What? Oh. In total what? In total what? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I... For the life of me, I could not see this until I had to look and I saw up here that there was a D E S. But this still gets me. I don't see I there. I really don't. And then this for the life of me took a long time because I was looking hard at this. I was looking at the flower and then I saw it. It's like what you see it, you see it. And then freaking I thought about freaking love because I was thinking about romance. A song destined for two, love. But duet makes more sense from a a riddle standpoint and a literal standpoint congratulations you've completed the initial calibration <laughs> congratulations you may now access the second floor I can I not? you will okay. likely notice the difficulty begin to ramp up at this stage but don't let it discourage you when, when you're, you're frustrated and ready to give up I implore you to look again to adjust your perspective there I've established a secure patch, but I can't seem to hear you at all. It's a shame I could use the company. But someone to listen and, and to help is really more than I hoped for. I'm still trying to piece things together, but I have the vague sensation that I built this place. Um, I don't know what that means. Things are so foggy still. So much to do. Just, just keep in those panels uh, and give me some time. I'll check back in the first chance I get. And thank you. You couldn't possibly. Okay, I'm not understanding what's going on, but thanks for the words, I guess. I'm just gonna continue as if nothing happened. <laughs> Found a game room. Where is my field of expertise as I am a hardcore gamer. Four in a row? Buveretta. Money play. Okay. I see what we're doing. Checkers. War boats. Oh, hey. It's a key. Ooh, it's a key. Oh, so this tells me keys for stuff to go to. The orange key game. Oh! This is telling me where I got the keys from. That's interesting. So with that key, I can probably go back downstairs and unlock that go to that one place or perhaps because there is another one here that I can go to that room instead but I think I'm gonna go back downstairs to that other orange room first for that though we're going to do something in here with these playing cards or perhaps with the game with how the pieces missing or the rodent trap game sound all fun and then we got Trivial Chase. Not a big fuse with Chubby Chase. <laughs> that, that wasn't even funny. Okay. Fat Shamey is no longer funny. Alright. So we got Hangman. And we're at one. We're one limb, la we're one limb away from fully hanging. So we got this 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 it's no r no n no v no h no m dang if there was an m there i was gonna guess bamboo so it's not bamboo okay and for this we got o x x x x o o so based on this x went first therefore okay And then you see over here before you had O winning, O winning, and O winning again. So if I need an O on the bottom, was it there, there was something with a tic tac like tic tac toe like thing. That was the pig pin. But I don't think we're using doing any pig pin. I don't think there's any pig pin language here. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's gonna help me. I don't think Stegor steganography is going to help me there. And I got this. Though it reminds me of that room. It really does. I have this, which is... Yep, that. And then I have this, which is... Shows me 
four in a row. There's I got six red pieces, seven black pieces. Wait, no, no, is that six or seven? The four, seven. So yeah, the red piece can block that down there. Which the black piece will go up top there. But the red piece is one away from running already. I didn't even notice that. Oh, ship. Hmm. I feel like coordinates are the key here. Coordinates are all the key. Maybe the key to solving this. Maybe a coordinate right here is the key to solving this. A coordinate for winning this board is the key to solving it. And then where this is placed is the key to solving that. Okay, so... I think for each one, the coordinate has got to be the winning move? I think that's what I'm getting. Because for this one, that would be... Going... That's about... That's... What? That's right there. Okay, let me let me get a hint on this. I think... I think I'm, I'm right on what the hint is going to be. But... I don't know. Okay, let me look at the pattern of this. Okay, four in a row is first up here. Checkers is second. And then a game without the missing pieces third. And then this fourth. So I got darts being fourth. So that's it. So I guess four in a row has got to be the first one. Checkers has got to be second in the pattern. I think it's Buveretta. I don't, I don't understand Buveretta. Is this... You got tic-tac-toe there. Or is this supposed to be the order how things go? Is that the order? Or is this the order? Hmm. I wonder what the word... What word is going to fill this out? No, R-N-V-H-M. I got A and O in there. Hmm. I'm thinking about all the different combinations. First, B. Let's get a let's get a hint. Let's get a hint. Let me stop. In checkers, you can jump multiple times in a row. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a thing, but how would you jump? Oh. Herder, I see. And checkers, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize. I thought I was. <sighs> I'm dumb. You can jump there, there, there. So you can jump three pieces. So that's a three piece jump. This right here is four pieces. Excuse me. This is a three win. And this is three. There's a whole lot of threes going on. It's a three theme. Hmm. One, two, three. Hmm. Which I think about it. Is that supposed to be Morse? Is that supposed to be Braille again? If that's the case, then. Okay, so let me think about jumping. I jump one, two, three. So it's going to be two up top or one. One up top right, one left middle, one bottom right, which is, according to the Morse code thing, that's nothing? Yeah, that's nothing. That's... That's nothing. But it should be something, unless it's reversed, and then that's O. Because O shows that, but it shows it the opposite way. Oh, yeah, because it's stepping on white. Yep, I'm stepping on the white. So, yeah, it would be the other way. It would be... Yep, yep, yep. And I, maybe, I'm going to guess with O there. I'm going to guess with O. I'm going to guess with O, since where the red, that piece ends up. It would be the O from Morse code. Hmm. 
For this, I'm not sure what I need to interpret from that. Unless maybe I'm doing the, the pig pen stuff again with this one. I don't think this one is... I don't think that that is Morse code. I'm going to say, if I said this one was Morse code, I apologize. I'm going to say this one is, that's Braille. That's maybe Morse code? I feel like this is Pigpen, but this is a little difficult for me to get. I feel like, oh, Tattoo. This is Tattoo. I thought about it. This one has to be one letter, so this is Tattoo. That's T. Alright, so I got T. So I know this is T. I know that's T, and since checkers is all the way at the end, I'm just going to assume that's O. So I got T and O already. There we go. And then I have this, and then I have this, which I don't know. I still don't know how to interpret. Hmm. Oh, guy was shaking. Controller. Stop it. Stop it. All right. This is certainly pig pen, but I don't know what how to interpret that pig pen yet. And then tic tac toe, which is, I guess I'm not supposed to interpret it with the uncovered one, which that case would be C. Okay, so is that C then? So I guess I got T C O because this is tattoo. This has got to be one letter. T-A-T-T-O. That spells tack two. This is the O. This is the C because I filled this up. Now I got the tic-tac board again. Which this would be the only blank one. This has to be C. Or does it have to be the bottom one? Which will make that I actually. If that's where the O is going to be. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to interpret that being the, the winning piece. Okay, well, if I'm solving this out here, that's tattoo. So if I'm solving this, then that has to be I, because that's where that is. And then if I'm solving this, which I think is the flag some more. If not, that might be... It's not Braille. This is certain, This is Braille. Which then, that being up there, I'll interpret that as being O, right? So I got T-I... The frick is this? Or is this the flag some more? Because there's a red here at the bottom, which shows a bottom going down. Excuse me. And then the thing up there. So there's a bottom. The only thing close to that is, is D. Uh, uh, yeah, it's bottom. Yeah, I don't see anything where it can resemble that. This guy, this one has me really thinking. I gotta give credit to the. There's another this because this this one has me really thinking. Wait, that would spell a Y. If I filled that in, that spells a Y. Hmm. Why don't that, that all spells out a letter when you win? Well, for an O, I feel like that's got to be pig pen. This is obviously T. This may be Y. This might be S. Toys? Holy brain blast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, what the frick? Look at that. It's working. I don't know how, but it's working. Each time you solve a panel, I can feel a piece of my mind returning, uh, taking form. The fog is slowly lifting. I can remember now that I made this island to assist people, to help them. But why am I here? What went wrong? Why does everything feel familiar and completely new at the same time? I don't know. Either way, I'm data breach detected. Apologies for the interruption. 
An outside force seems to have invaded this partition. Please ignore and continue the simulation. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what I plan to do. Oh, that's interesting, though. So, I had a feeling the guy that was talking in the robotic voice was the same guy. I mean, obviously, it's the, the main guy that made this game over here. If he's the voice actor, or whoever the voice actor is, and that's perfectly fair. That makes sense if that would be the case, the why it sounds so similar. I was overthinking this like crap. I thought this, I thought this had to do something. I thought these three had to do something with the steganography. I'm going to keep saying that word ever since I learned about it. So I apologize for the repetition for that. But I thought this all had to do with different forms of steganography. And then this was just regular. And then I had to look for it another second. And I realized if I put it in the red piece over here, this looked like a Y. And so I get T Y, but it didn't make sense if a couple were f not following that same script. And then I looked at this and saw that if I put this up here, this forms an S. And then from there, it was like, oh, toys. And now realizing that if I put a thing over there, that's O. Because O is the winning piece. T-O-Y-S. Oh my goodness. I freaking... <laughs> I totally did not get this one at first. That This one got over here with me. When I, when I had that pop in my head, I was like, brain blast. <laughs> But this is going to end it off over here. I think this is a good place to stop. I'm going to return to this Dreams game someday. Maybe in the near future. I'm going to put this back into the...